And right now, states from Kansas to Texas will be in the red zone beginning on Tuesday. The severe weather threat includes the town of Jacksboro, Texas. This town was hit hard by the uh, EF3 tornado uh, on Monday. So we're going to continue to watch the situation as severe weather will be developing. Unfortunately, this town had uh, nine people which were injured. The town's high school and dozens of homes in a near, uh, su uh, nearby subdivision were also damaged. So what we have going on, unfortunately, is another setup that we see developing over over the uh, west. It's an upper level low that Craig was talking about that is going to give them some, uh, unfortunately, some another rounds of possible severe weather as we go through time. Uh, good morning. It is Saturday here early in the morning, and that low pressure comes ashore on California next week. That is going to be the beginning of some energy and uh, warmth that's going to come up from the south, basically. And it's the same old familiar situation, folks, as we go through time. By next week, we're going to have severe thunderstorms possible in the same areas that we're dealing with severe weather last week. Unfortunately, heavy rain is likely, and obviously, we're going to monitor the, uh, the severe weather outlook and what will happen in time. But for Dallas... Let's take a look at next week, Monday. Look at the temperature. Folks, March, late March sunshine does a job, especially when you have some high pressure and control. The mercury skyrockets. It's going to be 87 degrees. By Tuesday, the winds will pick up. Tuesday evening, Tuesday night, the threat of severe weather temperatures will be in the lower 60s and then getting up into the mid-70s by midweek. Now, here we go with the latest severe weather threat for Tuesday. It is likely from Austin to Dallas all the way up to Wichita, and around that region, obviously a possibility of some severe weather. Severe weather we know contains winds in excess of 58 miles an hour, uh, wind hail or larger, frequent lightning and torrential rain. But take a look at what happens with the future track by 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 11 o'clock on Tuesday. The beginnings of a line will be developing north and west of Dallas through the mid-Mississippi Valley, and it picks up some intensity as it comes through, uh, through uh, Wednesday morning. This line will continue to intensify with all the parameters coming in place so the possibility of tornadoes is there and the severe weather threat for your Wednesday for this far out it is uh, Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday four days away <clears throat> the severe prediction center has a very likely or level three enhancement through portions of the lower Mississippi Valley folks we have to monitor that situation as that area of low pressure pushes to the east and off the southeast coast but before it does the threat of severe weather is likely from Richmond to Raleigh, to extreme upstate uh, South Carolina as we go through time. And there's the rainfall forecast. Obviously, with all the severe weather, flooding rains are an issue, Craig. So it's unbelievable. It's deja vu possibly all over again, bud. O over to you. Yeah, it's yeah. up. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.